Monkey Lives! During World War II, Abraham Wald was given the task of examining planes that had been damaged by gunfire to determine the best place to add armor. He picked the areas that were least damaged, because he knew that he was only seeing the planes that made it back, which means that those were the safer places to get shot. The undamaged places were ones where, if you got shot, you weren't likely to make it back. So that's where you put the armor. He understood survivorship bias. In fact, he coined the term. If the only data you have available has made it past some kind of selection process, you need to consider the ones that didn't make it past the selection. Joseph Banks Ryan, on the other hand, got it wrong when he researched ESP. He looked at the few successes and concluded they had psychic powers, citing the improbability of their results by random chance. But he neglected to take into account the overall sample size, which indicated that there would be those lucky few. In the investment world, there are a few people whose success is so great that everyone pays attention to what they say in financial matters. But the fact is, there are a lot of investment advisors, and those few incredible successes are really just at the top of the bell curve. It's like after 9-11, when survivors claimed that they prayed to God and he protected them. So did none of the 3,000 dead pray to God? Or did God just hate them for some reason? They don't make them like they used to is a good one. Point to the products of the past that still work all you want. Are you counting all the ones that went into landfill somewhere? It's like in the older quickie on Sturgeon's Law. You think the music of the past was better because you only remember the best examples of it. Remember, it's not just what you see, it's what you don't see.